how you decide where to put your lines. I look at the banks. There's some red ribbon in there. Uh huh. Right there in that this dry box. Oh, right here. Pull that out of there, boom. Oh, there's a white ribbon right there. Yeah. That's an old, but old that's an old, old someone. Oh, okay, so someone just didn't take it down. They took right. everything else but oh, left okay. it. Second here. Okay. First thing you want to do is check the tree, make sure the tree ain't gonna break. So if a big alligator or something on there, you don't lose your line. Okay. Take, go over, and back through. And back through, and then shoestring. Yes. Tight, and now you got a shoestring. Okay. Then we're going to put all the hooks in. Okay. Steven, pass me one of them. You got the hooks right here. Okay, pass me that. I need a gear tag and a tape. ribbon. And the red tape's on the, beside the other seat. Yes, cut us another ribbon. Going through. Yep. And then the best bait that you found, you said, is mullet. Mullet. Just chunk of mullet. Yeah, but we do secret stuff to our bait that can't be discussed on YouTube. Okay. Not illegal, but it's the best bait in the world for catfish. Gear tag. Got our gear tag within three foot of the bait. Okay. And our ribbon to indicate where our line is. Now, when you pull up, can you t pretty well spot if there's going to be something on there right off when you first pull up, or no? You got to pull it in. Shaking. Oh, the whole tree will be shaking. The whole tree will be shaking. Wow. Yeah. Whenever I say we got a tree shaker, we got a big one. And there we right go. There. And then when we come back, hopefully there'll be something on there. Yeah. It's not very deep there. <laughs>